think so. I walked away. <laughs> I'm gonna guess we're live. It usually takes like four seconds after you hit the live button. Hey, how's it going? So we missed you guys last week. We didn't do a video. Um, we had a lot of marketing campaigns we did last weekend, so we kind of felt like maybe the kids should have us for a night. But we are back this Saturday for our Saturday Night Live painting. We're gonna do, um, we're gonna chalk paint the wood, and then we're going to do um, we're going some string art. Mm -hmm, with the nails. Only we're gonna use this yarn. Oh. I just threw that in the chalk. Yep. <laughs> a little bit of a. Uh, so we're gonna use the yarn to wrap around our nails, and then we have a bucket full of these Dollar Tree flowers. Actually, they came from Walmart. They were on sale. Well, <laughs> clearance on Walmart. The others that were uh, at Dollar Tree. Um, we're gonna put those on here. Yep. So we'll start with. With the hot glue gun going. Mm-hmm. Can you hand me the water bottle? Sorry. Oh yeah. So we'll start with chalk painting the um, the wood. I had Dixie Bell fluff. I'm just gonna make it like a white wash. My kids, kids are, are here, here tonight. tonight, so we're on the video. Use them when they walk in. We are gonna do a little bit of Mother's Day trivia through this live. Also, so we'll ask some questions and then you guys can. Um, Give us your answers, and we'll see. It's pretty interesting. So um, feel free to make any comments if you have any questions during this. What I, if you know? If you don't understand something, if I forgot to say something, just make sure and write them down in the the comments, and then let us know where you're watching from. Let us know if you are um, local and where you are from and if you're a mother what are you doing for your mother's day yeah. what would you want to do for your mother's day <laughs> did you miss in the trivia i did we are we're doing trivia we'll be giving uh we'll have the first question coming up here in just a moment they are multiple choice so make it a little bit easier gonna give you some options to choose from so this is some really rough wood i don't typically paint on anything like this it's really soft and um, I have really watered down fluff with a chippy, like worn out, uh, yucky brush, really. And so I'm just gonna kind of go across this and give it like a little bit of a whitewash. I, I'm not a fan of that coloring, so we're gonna change it a little bit. <laughs> we are um, in the studio, of course. If, you're just, if this is your first time joining us, we are in a brick and mortar studio. So the door is open. There might be people walk in. You might hear people walking down the street. Um, <laughs> you might ask questions. Or you might just hear our three children. Yeah. Katie <laughs> <laughs> Cameron, right over. First minute. All right, let's go ahead and go with the first question from Mother's Day Trivia. So. According to recent polls, Mother's Day ranks where in terms of most popular holidays. So according to recent polls, Mother's Day ranks where in terms of most popular holidays. It's fourth pop most popular, third most popular, second most popular, or first most popular. Make sure you put your answers in the comments and we'll give the answer right here in just about 60 seconds. So, where are you at right now? I haven't seen anything. I was a little surprised by the answer to this question. I do know the answer to this question, so I'm not going to answer. I was surprised. Yeah. Were you surprised that it was lower or it was higher? In the I thought it was lower. I thought there was some. Um, I thought it would have been lower. Other holidays that were ranked higher, but when I, yeah. Connie says it's ranked second. Second holiday. So here, just a little bit more. Uh, we got bugs flying in. Welcome to Florida. <laughs> yes, it's love bug season. <laughs> if you're not from Florida, love bugs are. They don't bite, but they attract. To your car, they fly in like huge swarms. Oh my god, there's like semi trucks we've been seeing getting off the highway, and like the whole front of the vehicle is like just black because they just hit so many love bugs. 
All right, here we go. So, our answer to our question. So, the question was, according to recent polls, Mother's Day ranks where in terms of most popular holidays? Answer is, it comes in third, right behind Christmas and Easter. So, there we go. If Christmas and Easter, which most businesses are closed Christmas and Easter, but I would say they're not closed on Mother's Day. Yeah. I always thought Thanksgiving would have been ahead of it. Yeah, I was I was surprised. Maybe it's because like Thanksgiving you don't have to like purchase things, but Mother's Day like you're always thinking about like okay we got to think ahead what we're we gonna get mom like what we're we gonna get Nana. Do we like this or do we want it more white? I think maybe a little bit more white on the bottom because it has like the chip off here. Yeah. It so it already has character on the bottom. I think maybe we should add a little more white there. Other than that, it looks good. What about the edges? Do I do the was going to say, I forgot to pull over on my edges. Yeah. And if you're just joining us today, we, uh, we're going to put some, we're putting chalk paint. Uh, I think this is the cotton, or is it fluff? This is the fluff by Dixie Bell. Um, we also have a little bit of turquoise that we're going to add in a little bit later. But we are doing, like a mason jar. Oh, having to reach over. Do a little mason jar string art, and we're doing our Mother's Day trivia as well. We're almost done with the painting stage. All right, so next question. So as of 2010, most births occurred in what month in the United States? So as of 2010, almost 10 years ago, <laughs> most births occurred in what month in the United States? Answers could be June, September, July, or May. So what month were more babies born in than any other month? No, I have three kids and not none of my kids were born in that month. No. Nope. So we want to eliminate our kids? <laughs> we have one born in July. This is how we roll. One born in October and another one born in March. So we'll okay. go ahead and lower the field down for you guys. So it's not July, not October, and not March. Nope. So what month do you think? We'll look at the comments here. <laughs> Most of said July. Oh yeah, go Cubby. Nope, it's not July. <laughs> not July. All right. So I think we're good here. I like it. Put a little, uh, a little more close up. So you can still see the wood grain, and like I said, it's really rough wood. It's um, you can see the texture of the wood coming through and as it sets it's wanting to soak in I used I used a lot of water with this um, So I'm gonna head over and put the dryer on it for just a second before we come back and do our nails And I will give the answer and then show you guys which nails we're going to use so our question earlier was which month uh, Has the most births in the United States since 2010 the answer was September So September was the answer I feel like there should be like a pause Anyone? Like that's where I say it. Does um, have a September baby? If you have a September baby, go ahead and give us that little raise hand in the comments. I'd like to test the uh, authenticity of this question. It kind of makes sense because September is pretty much nine months when winter starts. So it's getting colder, you're in the house more. So I guess that kind of makes sense. All right. So our next question on what day? Is Mother's Day celebrated in the United States, Australia, and Canada? So what day is Mother's Day celebrated in the U.S., Australia, and Canada? First Sunday of May, fourth Sunday of May, third Sunday of May, and second Sunday of May. Go ahead and check your calendars for this year. All right. So I kind of turned around. Um, the brush that Whitney was using, she's just using like a chippy brush here. You can see there's different string ends. Just one of these cheap little one dollar brushes that you can get. And then the nails that we're going to use, uh, we just I think we probably got these at Walmart or Home Depot. But we are using a 17 by one inch gauge. So it's a one inch nail. The diameter of the actual nail is 17 gauge width. And of course, we're just using a basic house hammer to nail these things in. We actually have one of our kids' hammers. Um, I was debating on using it. All right, how are we looking? Looking dry? You want to do a second coat? No, I think we're good. I think it looks good. I'm All gonna, right. I'm going to use this twine so it'll give it kind of a rustic feel anyway. Yeah. Do you want to do the nailing or? No, you, you got it. Okay. 
Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and move this since I'm all done. Not completely dry. I got a fingerprint. It's not dry, but it's gonna. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. All right, so we're switching roles. Okay, so um, there's all kinds of templates you can get online if you um, want to look online. There's and it tells you like numbers, or you can make your own design for simplicity's sake. Um, and to show how it can be an easy DIY, I'm going to go ahead and just use this template that I have. So I'm going to put it on my wood. I want it close to the bottom because I'm going to put some flowers in here. And it's not the biggest board, so uh, I don't want them like hanging off. So I want to get this as close to the bottom as I can. So, let's see if I lay it down here, can we still see it? You know, I'll have to go check the camera real fast. We can't see the freight front. Yeah, we still can. The corner, this corner right here is. If I can just, I'll just start off. one and then I can yeah. get it back up. You can here. see it. So I'm just gonna hammer it in. While you're hammering in, I will try to get the answer to our latest question. Okay. All right, so our question was on what day of the month is Mother's Day celebrated? And the answer was second Sunday of May. Now our next question. I did not know that. I didn't I know, know what I thought about, but it's like that every year. I didn't know it was the same like date every year. Or day. I mean I knew it was always on Sunday, but I would have mm. not put together the second Sunday. I'm gonna hold it. So this goes pretty fast. Oh, um to help you. Are we putting in every single one? Yep. Yeah. Gonna use the girl hammer. <laughs> gonna use the girl hammer. You just kind of want to get them relatively the same height, but when you put it up on the wall, it doesn't. You can't tell if it's perfect or not, so don't stress yourself out too much. Watch your fingers. You don't want to get your fingers caught in there. You got ten fingers. You can afford to lose one for crafting. Right. Well, what's worse, a hammer or a hot glue? I think I'll take a hammer. Yeah? The hot glue is pretty, like, you would not think that would burn as much as it does, but it really does. I'm going to go with I'll take the hot glue. Yeah. All right, you ready for another question? Here we go. Next question. Which U.S. president declares the first Mother's Day? Now, I'll give you a hint. It's the president who authorized the 19th Amendment for women to have the right to vote. So which president authorized the first Mother's Day? And your hint is he was also the same president that signed in the 19th Amendment for women's rights. I'm not a history person. I would definitely not have known that. Well, I teach history, so that's probably the only reason why I even know that. And I wrote that huge paper in college about what you're <laughs> <laughs> After we get these nailed in here, we can just rip the paper off and then we can start wrapping. Or you can leave the paper on and um, wrap in the numbers that it, that it has on there and then kind of pull it off. Now, some of my nails are kind of going a little crooked. Okay. Is that going to matter? No. That one's a little crooked. Okay, well. There we go. <laughs> Come on, man. Something wrong with the pink hammer? <laughs> so, the president that authorized the first Mother's Day was Woodrow Wilson. And what is they, what was it, year 1914? Don't ask me. That's what you wrote in here. It said okay. in 1914. Well, then that's what the answer online said. You know, Don't ask me. Four. I've got like a huge 
huge handful of nails over there. If you get 40, I'll get 28. That's it. Okay. So we got all of our nails in. So now we um, typically like when you see them, they use the thin yarn, uh, the thin string. But I have this like twine yarn that I thought would look kind of neat on on here. So I'm gonna go wrap it around. The we got a nasty nest here. Might just need to cut it off. Let me get the scissors and cut it off. Okay. So, um, we, earlier on the wood, we used the fluff by Dixie Bell to cover our wood. We kind of just like a little bit of whitewash. Then we put in a, some one inch nails on a 17 gauge diameter. There's probably like what? It looks like 43, almost 43 nails. That's what it says. And then when we painted, we used just a chippy brush. That's it. Did you add any of the driftwood? I can't remember. I didn't do driftwood, no. Nope. But it kind of looks like driftwood. It kind of does because of the color of, I guess, the wood underneath it coming through. So I'm just going to start like a basic little knot here. And then tighten it. I might be looking around making sure all three kids are still in here. <laughs> but they're being awfully quiet. <laughs> you want to have kids and they get really quiet and you're kind of like, uh oh. What's happening? Um, I'm done eating for the day, but a cinnamon roll does sound good. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I'm going to start here. I'm going to wave at the camera. And then I'm going to go. Yes. Oh, I'm what? not interested in eating. You're not interested in eating, but a cinnamon roll does sound good, doesn't it, Mom? Cinnamon roll does sound good, yeah. Yeah. The one that's the big okay. one cinnamon rolls. <laughs> so I don't know how this is going to work actually. This twine. Yeah, we had a conversation earlier about if the if this twine would be flexible enough. You want me to grab yarn just in case? We have steel yarn. Or are you gonna you're gonna make it work, aren't you? Of course, I'm gonna work on I'm gonna work on working on it. Okay. So I'm just gonna go and loop it on each one. And it's gonna kinda have like um, a knotted look. You can always come back and re-hammer down some nails that, you know, if you decide like, oh, that's too tall or that's too short. So I'm going, I'm just going on the side, wrapping it around and coming down to the next one. And we about lost the light, it sounds like. Have a, clumsy kid. a little bit. Move the camera just a little bit so they can get a better look. Yeah. Sorry for the movement, the noise in the camera. Just want to move it a little bit so we can get a better look. So I'm just going and I'm wrapping around the head of the nail. And I'm trying to keep it a little bit tight. Not too tight. I don't want to rip the nail out of the wood. Just a little bit of tension. It's looking good. It's going fast too. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fraying. It has like some little like fray marks that are up there, and it kind of looks pretty good. I'll um kind of get some off. I'll give you some slack before I show. So with the twine that we're using, um, you kind of look. It's kind of a good piece, but it's I don't want to call it. It's uh it's just kind of fraying off a lot. So it's not real like binded twine. I guess those are the right words for it. And anyways, whenever Whitney's putting it on, and we'll show you when we, whenever we get it all looped, it's kind of fraying out. And it kind of gives it that kind of an older look on it. I like it. I'm gonna come back this way. Yeah, kind of come in through mm -hmm. here, maybe. You do have to go from here. What if you went up? No, you can always come. Yeah. Back. Remember math class and then you said make us do those graphs and we would make like an object? Like you would like the coordinates, you would go like x axis 3, y axis 3, and you would put a 
dog and make yeah. like an arrangement. I guess I guess small town Oklahoma did. <laughs> that was our advanced math class. Yeah, I was in it. I mean, I'm not our kids are greeting people. Yeah. <laughs> so if you see me keep looking that way, I'm just like making sure our kids don't go jumping out of the out of the doorway. And if you hear a kid screaming, that's just because a love bug has flown in around her. <laughs> uh -oh. Got wrapped around here. All right, so I can just tighten it back up a little by twisting it. So how are you going to end this off? So when you get to the end, you're going to cut it, right? I'm going to right here. So I'm going to come back it? to the one that I initially. Okay. I think I. Need some scissors. We have friendly gifts. All right, so now that I come to the end, I'm just going to wrap it. And then I have some hot glue. I'm going to put a dot of hot glue on it. gluing a little bit on the string. So I can come back and cut some of this off or I can leave it kind of fray like rustic farmhousey looking. All right so now we have our um, wrap our yarn wrap for our twine I guess That's what you call. and then we can um, just tear off the paper tear it right out. I'm not going to be using this anymore. And then we're going to work on putting in our um, flowers. All righty. You want to kind of uh, show it up? Show it a little bit? There we go. I think we missed the spot here. Right oh, yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit. Not a, a big bit. deal. It's all right. We probably just hot with that one. <laughs> you know. I can just get through. There we go. This is like we need some tweezers. Yeah. I think you can probably just tie it. Yeah. And I'll put just a slight bit of glue on the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. And then we can just cut off the fray. Too much excitement over there. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. You ready? Yeah. I'm just going to pop it right there on the bottom. And then I'll cut off the fray okay. in a minute. Bye bye, Daddy and Corey. Bye bye, Mommy and Corey. Okay, Are you going to go to Nana's house? Yeah. Okay, we'll be back to pick up in just a moment. Mwah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now we have our basket of flowers. We can um, choose whatever kind, color we think looks good. These give it like a bright look. These are pretty. I kind of like these. Let's go with these. Well, it's now it's an official date night. Kids are gonna. Now it's actually gonna get quiet. Do we have any more trivia? We do. So, 
our next question. There's some good ones on the back page about like actual motherhood. Okay. So, on average, how many diaper changes will a mother perform by a baby's second birthday? By their second by their birthday. Second birthday. So on average, how many diaper changes will a mother perform by a baby's second birthday? Your answer options, 5,300, 7,300, 4,300, or 6,300. So 5,300, 7,300, 4,300, or 6,300. Okay, so I'm just shoving this stem down through my um, rope uh, nail. And then these are pliable, so you can actually bend them to look like they're hanging over or hanging out. And then you can take some, like, if you have another strand, you can cut some of it off so you don't have, like, a ton of, like, um, sticks hanging down in here. If this needs to be, like, a little more full, you can fill it in by hot gluing some more of these, like, out through the back or, you know, hanging down, um, which we're going to do. Alright. So, we got that. Out a little because it's hanging on the wall you um want to see the flowers is there anything else you're going to do with this it looks pretty good just like this i was debating if i should take some like of the turquoise through here like water you could paint the stem of this if you wanted to paint the stem i think you should step back and look at it it's no. pretty it's pretty nice just like that i think so do we need more i don't more think so stems coming through no you can cut the leaf that end up getting scrunched up in here. If you can't get them pulled through your string, you can cut those and kind of glue down in here. Um, or you can try and pull them through. You, you could like add in a different color flower. Mm -hmm. You can. You can mix and match. Like I, th I feel you like wanted some yellow. Yeah, I feel like maybe if you put a couple of yellows in the center. Yeah. Maybe do that. that would do some. Let's see, we got a couple yellow flowers here. Alright, so while Whitney's getting the yellow flowers together, we get, still have scissors up here, I believe. Yep, right here. Um, so, a little bit ago, we asked a question. Uh, we had no comments, so no one commented on the answer selection of how many diapers. So, on average, how many diaper changes will a mother perform by a baby's second birthday? And the answer is 7,300. 7,300. 7, that's, that's one kid. So that's how many, like, what, approximately 10 a day? Is that what it said? So, like, two, okay, yeah, because there's 365 days a year, so that's almost at 700. So, yeah, that would be about right about 10. Yeah. Now, we had babies, we had a baby every year. Right, so we were, we had multiples of diapers at the same time, so we... You could add well, we can just times what, ours. 10 a day times 2. Yeah. That would be... We, we, easily, we easily did 22,000 in a time period. How many diapers in a... How much money did we spend on diapers? A lot. Because they were like 20... Uh, Target had them for like, what, 25 bucks a box or like 70? A lot. We had a lot. And that would last a week. But for, we did, kid. by the time our oldest... Was our oldest did potty train quick, potty trained and our early. youngest potty trained quick. Yeah. And then our middle child, which was a boy, boy, he took his time. Oh, it was funny because I remember the day that his younger sister got in the potty and used it, and he looked at me and he was like, oh, "I can do that too." And I was like, "All right, well, go for it, bro." <laughs> and he was potty trained that week. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, so, it was Father's Day, right? It was Father's, it was Father's Day, Father's yeah, because I said it was the best Father's Day present I've ever been given. So yeah, I was able no to more diapers. Able to save money, Dad. Saving money and thermostats are two biggest, uh, two biggest chores. Thermostat? The thermostat. Thermostat. Every dad is about a thermostat. Like, no one touches the thermostat in the house. Oh, yeah? Well, not our house. 
you touch it. I feel like I just walk it, walk out and forget it. But if the kids touch it, oh, it's mm. going down. That must have been a your dad thing, because I can't can't think. I've heard of, I've, anybody ever heard of that one? Leave a comment if you had a dad or a husband that is a controller of the thermostat. All right, so we added a little bit of um, yellow. Yep, I think it looks good. So let's recap. Um, so we got this piece of wood from Walmart. Um, we got this. We didn't sand it or anything. We took it as it is. It's kind of rough, uh, rough wood, rough sawn wood. We used Dixie Bell chalk paint fluff. We whitewashed it across the wood. We dried it. We punched our nails in using a template that we found. And then we put our brown twine around. It's like shipping twine. Put that around, then we added in our flowers, Yep. and that's it. This would be a completely doable at-home project. On a you can do this in half an hour. Yeah. I mean, I think I would say probably 15 minutes of prep, 30 minutes of actually sitting down and do it. So in 45 minutes, you have decor on your wall. Mm -hmm. You can modify the colors to be whatever colors you want. Yeah. Like you I can said, add more, you can... You could even add more twine in if you wanted. Or you can add more detail. Yeah. Um, you could hot glue these flower bases in, or you could not. You could change your flowers out and have like a different piece on the same background. You could use yarn. You don't have to use this thick twine. Um, and then, like I said, you can get a little more, add a little more detail in with like a turquoise or a blue like wash on the wood behind it and make it look like it's in water if you wanted to Good. do it in water. Yeah. Good. Well, that was our Saturday night painting. Yeah. Live. We definitely appreciate everyone who joins in and uh, watched this. Anyone who comes in after the live and watches it, we appreciate it and any comments. Um, but most importantly, to all the moms out there, we hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Mother's Day tomorrow. That you get some rest and relaxation and some good, great family time. If you haven't gotten a gift yet, you can always just send a nice, lovely picture via text message. <laughs> Better than nothing. All right. So we're going to go ahead and shut her down here. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, have a good night. Of course, you know, we're still on here because I have to walk around and push it.